How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a good day today. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the paintbrush tool and the paint mixer tool in Affinity Photo. So let's hop right into it. Alright, so first things first, you're going to select your paintbrush tool, which is going to be on the left side of your screen in the tool selection. It's going to uh, look like a paintbrush. It's right there. You'll, you'll see it. And then if you go to the right side of your screen, you'll find a tab that says brushes. And if you uh, click this little drop down right here, you'll be able to select through a variety of different uh, types of brushes. There's like oil, pastels, inks, markers, uh, pens, pencils. There's a couple uh, add-on ones you get for downloading the software, such as like the sprays and spatters, a couple textures, and the spray, spray paint stamp brushes. Well, it's a mouthful. So I'm going to pick... Let's just go with uh, ink for now. So as you can see, these inks, the different brush pattern for the inks just showed up right here. So we'll just look through these. We'll go dynamic rough ink 02. So it's this one right here. And we'll just do the black color. We Our width for our brush size is 64 pixels. You can find that up in the top left corner. Your opacity will be 100% to start off. And same with your flow so if we start brushing just right I mean left click and there you go pretty simple um, you can play with a tons of different brush uh, strokes and whatnot that affinity already has or you can download uh, more that you seem fit so I want to show you guys a quick trick so um, to make your drawing of your lines and your brush strokes or whatnot a little bit straighter and cleaner what you can do is turn the stabilizer button on so it'll normally look like this without check check mark in that box so go ahead and select that so when you're drawing or whatever it's gonna look a lot more like flowy and so you're not gonna have as much rough edges I'm kind of like cramped for space right now so you might not be able to see it as well when I do it but but definitely tell the difference when you do it by yourself but yeah stabilizer definitely gonna help make your life a lot easier when you're just drawing or um, painting or whatnot and you can do this with the pen pencil tool uh, what have you so that's a little helpful tip all right so when you're mixing colors or whatnot you're gonna go to the paint mixer brush so this will be your next step in your uh, slew of brush uh whatever you want to call it but anyways what you'll do is click that bu click the tool and go to the area you want to start with so we'll start right here and when you click right there once you start blending into other colors it's going to like absorb it in your brush stroke so if i like leave off at that point right there i have like a little bit of a blue green and a grayish black in there as you can see so if I start right there it's gonna have that same stroke as what I left off as and it'll eventually start to turn into what goes next into it so it's gonna start absorbing into that green and I'll be down in the left corner just to show you how it's going into that more of a green so say we absorb into this black and blue or whatnot try to get this uh, more black and blue See right there, that's your stroke. And to uh, like reset the brush so it's not gonna be like that black and blue, like I just had it, you just hit the clean brush option at the top and there you go. It'll clean your brush for you so you can start all over again. I've actually used this before to make some pretty cool patterns and whatnot in backgrounds. Um, pretty, um, versatile not many people use this one but i've found my uses for it especially in like graphic design art or like online paintings or whatnot there's definitely tons of uses for uh these two brushes and just go out there try them there's plenty of different um brush types that you can choose from you're just gonna have to t uh, try them all out um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and if it, you enjoyed the video uh, please consider dropping a like and subscribing it means a lot it helps me push out more content for you guys and i got something big coming so stay in store for that see you guys in the next one thanks for watching